WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, final hour of the trading day. We have a pretty calm market so far to start off the week. Dow Jones negative 55 points currently, or about two tenths percent in the negative, trading 26,504. You have S&Ps basically flat, trading at 2,905. NASDAQ up nine points, or about one tenth percent, trading at 8,007. And the Russell leading the way on the way down, down almost 10 points, or about six tenths of a percent trading at 1556. We'll start things off. Let's jump over the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So a little bit of volatility around the opening bell. There's your opening bell bar. We're trading at 26,450. You trade up about 100 points, 26,548. And from there, we've trailed off about 50 points. But as you can see, we trade 100 points up, 50 points back down. Pretty small day in terms of trading activity. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story. Really no pullback at all. We start the morning at 76.71. And we basically trade topside for most of the morning take a break at around noon, right up there near session highs, 77.24 in the NASDAQ 100. S&Ps, we trade higher on the open as well. We open at around 28.99. We spike to a high of 29.10 just before noon, and we've kind of just been hanging at that level for the last three hours. Crude oil with volatility today, a few news stories in the headlines, as you have President Trump clamping down on Iran exports to countries across the globe imposing sanctions no more waivers with that you have oil there is your spike higher last night so that's thursday's action close friday sunday night we open 64 dollars we trade all the way up to 66 dollars basically we missed it by a few pennies but 55.97 excuse me 65.97 and from there we've backed off a bit you got crude trading 65.69 Gold contract trades lower for the morning, kind of just been hanging at these levels since about 10 a.m. this morning, 12.77 the price of gold. And Euro US dollar, so we get some Euro strength, dollar weakness, Euro trading 112.58. In terms of what else you have happening, it is a big week in earnings. And let's see. Is this it? Yes. Biz, big week in earnings to give you some of them. 140 of the S&P 500 companies reporting. Some of the name makers out there, Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble, United Technologies, Verizon, Twitter, Lockheed Martin, eBay, Facebook, Microsoft, and Tesla. Tesla in the news today, not for good reasons though, getting a downgrade. Tesla down 3.5%. They come out with their earnings on Wednesday. Stay tuned folks, Steve Rhodes, live right now at three o'clock. Dave White, live at four o'clock. Filling in for Tom, have a great Monday.